here's what the sandwich looks like. It was quite the traumatic experience. Thank you. Oh my god! I could literally get emotional right now. slowly dying and my dear was still goodbye I've been listening to Christmas music all morning I'm wearing this set from Target it's so comfortable I think they're PJs but I'm gonna use them as like a lounge set because I don't really like wearing long sleeves to sleep or um, like pants because I tend to be like a sweater when I sleep so um, I'm using it as a lounge set. It's really cute. It's kind of like that waffle material. It's really comfortable. And um, yeah, we're just going to have a cozy day. I was going to do a content creation day today where I was going to like get content for all of like my social media platforms. But with this weather and this lighting, it's not going to be <sighs> just not really motivated to do it. So I'm just going to have a cozy day and I'm going to work from the couch put on a christmas movie and just have like a yeah cozy day in um a quick skin update my skin is actually doing better i'm so happy i thought i was gonna have a really bad flare-up like previous times but thankfully the vaseline is working and i actually just got my prescription um refilled for my medication for it which is you can see here this is a little bit here on my eye and under here but i just got my prescription refilled so we'll go pick that up today and i'm really excited because i thought that i was gonna be struggling for the rest of the month because when these flare-ups happen they tend to stay for a long time but this one just came and went thank god so i'm just gonna put some continue to put vaseline and then put my medication on when i pick it up and i'm really excited about today because i'm finally reuniting with my car my beautiful baby i actually don't think i told you guys but i haven't had my car for the last two weeks On halloween weekend we hit a deer and it was my first time ever experiencing a deer hit it was quite the traumatic experience thankfully the deer survived like i don't know how long it survived though because i've heard that even if they survive in the moment um like if they like run off like this one did they die later from pain so it's like so tragic to think about but um it happened so fast like we were i saw the deer on the left side of me i was the one that was driving and eric was in the passenger seat and i saw the deer on the left side and i started to slow down because i was like just in case it comes like jumps in front but when i saw it it was still like it wasn't like it was in mo movement or anything so i didn't think to like stop all the way and then literally a few seconds later just jumped in front of the car and I couldn't stop in time. And I didn't want to swerve or anything because they, first of all, that they've advised like that's the last thing that you should do because in case another car comes and you can make the accident like bigger than it, it is. So I didn't swerve or anything. I just had to hit it because I didn't stop in time. But thankfully like it just rolled and then it got back up. It didn't even like struggle to get up or anything. It just got back up and jumped into the woods so it survived but i think hopefully but it really did damage to my car that happened like late october and then the auto body didn't have any openings until late november so i was driving it like that for a whole month and it was drivable um but i just hated seeing my car like that damaged it made me sad so we dropped it off like two weeks ago and finally they gave me a call this morning that it's ready so i'm gonna go pick it up today and i'm gonna just 
embrace it so yeah eric and i have been sharing our car for the last two weeks but i'm excited to have my car back because i really miss it and i wanted to share with you guys our new wall art for the um samsung frame that i got from etsy it's really cute i feel like it really complements this room this print that i got from etsy it's so cute eric is so funny he said it looks like a little kid drew it and it does but i kind of like it like it looks artistic but minimal and i feel like the beige background really complements like the new tones that we got going on in this room so i changed that yesterday and i feel like it's really tying the room together but i'm just gonna enjoy my coffee get some work done mm. i think i'm gonna put a christmas movie on while i work i kind of want to watch that um lindsay lohan christmas movie that just came out on netflix what is it called <gasps> laguna beach is on netflix oh my gosh I need to watch. Should I watch Laguna Beach or should I watch it? Let me watch a holiday movie and I can watch Laguna Beach tonight. Where is this holiday movie? With Lindsay, where are you at? Can't find it. Should I just put Lindsay Lohan? Do you think it'll come up if I just Google Lindsay? If I just put Lindsay Lohan? Here it goes, Falling for Christmas. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna watch this while I work. snack for the road even though the drive is not that far to pick my car up it's pretty close but i'm feeling like i need a snack after breakfast and i just tried these for the first time i got them for groceries this week and these are so good this is like such a great sweet snack that's not like too high in calorie so a third of a cup is 150 calories and it's these pretzel pieces covered in brown sugar cinnamon they're so yummy. They're like the perfect crunchy snack. And I'm just gonna pack it as a little snack. So good, you guys should definitely try it out. This is what the packaging looks like. All right, let's go pick up my baby. OMG, I was about to leave without blowing the candle out. Okay, so I got my car back. I'm so excited to be in my car. Oh my goodness, I missed it so much. And the toast just dropped a new episode, so it's a good morning. I'm about to listen. Good morning, millennials. Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the show. Toast. Toast. Happy. Hey, Jax. <laughs> hey, Adern. So it's lunchtime now, and I'm making a spicy chicken sandwich. I just toasted these ciabatta rolls that I got from Wegmans, and I'm going to put some of this spicy mayo that I made. It's really easy. It's just mayo, um, lemon, and spices like garlic salt, gar pepper, minced garlic, uh, paprika, and then I also did sriracha as my hot sauce. So it makes like this really good spicy, spicy spread that you can use for sandwiches. And also like tonight, I think I'm gonna make Eric some fries uh, for his portion of dinner so he can use this for fries. And then I just melted some pepper jack cheese over some leftover chicken that we had from dinner last night. So I'm gonna put this on the sandwich as well on the right side. And then I'm gonna do some spinach as my greens. And then I'm also gonna do some tomato. It's so good. A little drizzle of salt and pepper for taste. And I wonder if I have chips that I can eat with this. I don't know if I have any. Darn, I don't have any chips. I think I'm gonna make some salted fries on the side because I don't have chips. And I got these potato fries from Trader Joe's. About 25 of them is only 140 calories. I know, I'm sorry if it's annoying that I talk so much about calories, but it's just because I take mental notes to make sure that I'm still within like my calorie intake um, because that is like a big part of just my fitness journey in general. I haven't been doing actual macro counting just because it takes a lot of work. Like for example, making the sandwich would have taken me like an extra 15 minutes because I have to plug everything into the app so i just have laid off on that but i make mental notes that's why we talk about calories but yeah i think i'm gonna make some fries because i don't have any chips and i want like a crunch with my sandwich fries are ready i just put them in the air fryer for like 10 minutes 
and I salted them halfway through. I'm just gonna put a little bit of ketchup because I love ketchup. Okay, please excuse the dishwasher going in the back, but I really had to put the dishes to wash because they were overflowing. But I wanna do a taste test really quick with you guys. Here's what the sandwich looks like. So good. This tastes like pot belly, minus the bread because I didn't want to use like the long loaf. I just wanted to do these little ciabatta rolls. Oh my gosh, this is so good. If you love spicy, you will love this. All right guys, so I've literally been on the couch all day long working. This gloominess really got to me. I only got up to walk Hoda with Eric and also to make dinner. But other than that, I've just been on the couch working. So I haven't really been vlogging much because not much has been going on. But I did get a little surprise at the door from my best friend. She dropped off this little cake. And at first, I thought that, because at first it was her husband was in front of her. And he was like recording like this. And she was behind him. So I thought they were about to announce something like, special if you know what i mean like i thought i was gonna be an auntie or something i was so confused and then when i saw the cake she dropped this cake off to celebrate me reaching 10k on instagram and it was just so special oh my so gosh when i see you're gonna tell me you're pregnant <laughs> I feel like this year I dedicated so much to content creation and so to see that translate in growth is I'm so appreciative of it like I'm so so happy and honestly this was the push that I needed to to continue to create and do what I love like right now I was about to knock out I was about to just go to bed knowing that tomorrow is content creation day for me but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan out all of my outfits that I'm gonna shoot tomorrow. Um, that way tomorrow could be an easier day for me with content creation. But yeah, I'm really thankful for her. Thank you so much, Jazz, you're a freaking queen. Thank you for always celebrating me and always being my motivation. I appreciate you so much. I know this is supposed to be a reset week for me. I'm supposed to be resetting and letting, making healthier choices, but today's an exception because I cannot say no to this bomb vanilla like the frosting looks so good it looks so good i'm about to cut it wow this looks so yummy congratulations thank you ten motherfucking okay it's crazy also i want to say thank you guys for the support on here why am i talking with a, a knife in my hand <laughs> also i want to thank you guys for all the support here on youtube it's been a journey and i really appreciate all of the love and the support and just the fact that you guys enjoy like what i create i could literally get emotional right now but i'm not gonna but i just feel like i've been at it for such a long time and it's amazing to s <coughs> it's <clears throat> <laughs> why am i like this it's a fun to create. It's an honor to create content. It truly is one of my biggest passions. And so when people like can resonate with what I create and can relate with what I create, like it's truly like makes me so happy. So thank you guys so much for all the support. And this little slice of cake is in honor of all of you guys who are supporting me and for continuous growth for all of us. We're in this together, we're gonna to grow together, we're gonna to achieve all of our goals together. Mmm, so good. Wow, this is so good. My best friend is so talented that I literally thought she made this because she is capable of creating such amazing things. Like she's a baker, she's a artist, she's a painter, she does it all. So when she brought it, I was like, did you make this? Cause I genuinely thought like, it's so cute. She made it, but she got it at Wegmans. And now I'm like, dang, I think I need to get this like for the next event because it's so good.
so I'm planning on my outfits for tomorrow, which is my content creation day. And this isn't the first outfit that I have. What I have it's just these white pants with my Uggs, a white crop, this puffer, and this very cute, comfy, fuzzy hat. I feel like it's perfect for a winter look, which is what I'm going for. I'm trying to style a lot of winter pieces. So this is the first outfit. And I think I want to do these glasses. I'll play around with it tomorrow, but but this is basically what I do. I just bring out from my closet the items that I want to style. For example, this puffer. I have another jacket that I want to style and some boots. And then I kind of just create an outfit around it and then pack it so that tomorrow when I go to shoot, I literally just have to grab the clothes and go. Because honestly, styling the outfits is what takes the longest time. Um, and then second to that is getting ready, but actually brainstorming the outfits is what takes a lot of time So first outfit is complete and then what I do so I know which accessory goes with which outfit these glasses go with this outfit So I'm gonna put it inside the purse so that tomorrow when I'm shooting it's really easy for me to just grab and go